be the most entertaining minutes of the show. Here he is, the champ, the IBF junior middleweight champ, K9 Bundridge. So great to have you here. Second time in his career, he beat Corey Spinks. First time he, he won the belt. Second time he retained the belt. That's right. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. And welcome back to Motown. And people are thrilled that you're still the champ. And now get us up to speed with what's next. Canelo. I want to fight Canelo. He's um, the WBC world champion. He's a great Mexican fighter. He's a big draw. He's like right behind Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather. He's big. And, you know, he's WBC world champion. I'm the IBF world champion. Let's unify. So a little unification. Now, obviously, people are going to ask, because you're in the same weight class as Floyd Mayweather, what's the realistic timetable of perhaps getting a fight against Floyd? I think I'm just one fight away. One fight away. If I beat Canelo, which I will, September the 15th, Money Mayweather's next. But when, you fight, when he fights a guy like you yes. at this stage, mm -hmm. what's in it for him right now? If you fought a week from now, what's in it for Floyd Mayweather? Um, I mean, he can say he's the best fighter in the world, um, that he beat K-9 from the contender. I mean, Michigan is, you know, we're doing real bad in Michigan. You know, the economy's messed up. I mean, he can help a lot of people in the city. I mean, it's just a lot. I mean, I got I to gotta target him with all the barking and all my antics I got. I mean, I got to have a good performance against Canelo. Mm -hmm. The people got to demand the fight because I'm a high-risk, low-reward. For, for, for Floyd Mayweather, but you know, with God, all things are possible. I just gotta keep winning, look impressive. I gotta go to um, Vegas. I gotta go find him. I gotta sniff him out. <laughs> now, when you go in the ring with Corey Spinks for a second time, what did you expect and what actually came to fruition that night? I, I thought he was gonna come in the ring, Dougie. And last time he was dancing when he came in the ring, you know, he had his little jiggy going, and you know, I, I knew he was gonna be prepared more than he was last time. But um, you know, I expect to knock him out again, like I told you, mm -hmm. you know, and. I caught up with him, and it was over with. TKO, seventh round. Where are you in your career, mindset-wise? I sense, just knowing you for the last six years or so, that you're happier than you've ever been, and you seem, from a business perspective, to be in the best place that you've been. I'm making some money now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making money. Um, I'm, out the, I'm out, the, out the jail. I would call it jail. I'm out of jail dealing with Don King. You know, Don King had me on the shelf. I'm away from Don King. I mean, Martin Luther King said it best. Free at last. Now, we explain why, though. I mean, people say he owned you for two fights, right? Yes. But yes. he didn't want to fight you. Why not? Because I, was, I signed a contract with him, a two-fight contract deal. So if I would have fought, there would have been only one contract. I mean, one fight left. Right. Then another fight, there would have been another fight. So he wanted a long-term deal with me. And I saw what he did to Mike Tyson, so I wasn't about to do that. Mm -hmm. So what's next? Canelo. After Canelo, Floyd Mayweather. The end time. We come to get time. <laughs> come to get you, man. That's because you're in a good place. You're happy with where so, you are? Yes, I'm in a good place. I'm in a real good place. I'm in peace. I mean, long suffering. God is great. I mean, I read my Bible. My wife, you know, she hold me down. It's, it's been some dark days. Being a world champion and have to pawn stuff. I mean, that's bad. I got to pawn rings and I'm a champ of the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, people riding around here doing better than me. And I'm the champ, not of the city or the state, the champ of the world. Now, it's our mission. We got to get this man to throw out the first pitch of the Tigers game, right? Isn't that something that has to happen? It has to happen. Give me the keys to the city. Let's go. <laughs> Let's this make it happen. world champion. All he wants to do is throw out the first pitch of the Tigers game. Justin Verlander. <laughs> Work it. <laughs> Work it. <laughs> That's great. Here he is. He's the IBF junior middleweight champ. He's going to go get another belt. He's going to unify that. Then yes. he's going to go take on Floyd Mayweather. You're going to be watching that one all over the world. That's right. Oh, oh, oh. The dog K9. is coming. Cornelius Bundridge, the Thank champ. You. Thank you. Stay with us. More boxing right after this. Emmanuel Stewart is in the studio.